a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good. Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh, what an amazing week. We have had. This is kind of part two, really, isn't it? The yeah. Goldwyn. Part two of three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, next week's episodes, we've got a couple of special things planned for you. But um, this week uh, was one of those weeks why I think that we'll look back and we'll say, man, that was what an amazing experience this week was. Unexpected experience. Yeah. yeah. So, um, give you a bit of background. We went into town um, soon after, I think last Sunday. Was it last Sunday? I don't remember what day it was. To I, don't, be I, don't even remember, I don't even know what, what today is. But. <laughs> Um, went into town and it was freezing cold, wasn't it? Yeah, it was freezing cold and there was just like a, there was just like weird rain, but it mm. wasn't rain and it wasn't sleet. It was just, it was like rain in slow motion, mm. if that makes sense, but it wasn't sleet. Yeah. Anyway. And we'd been, we'd been given the, the diesel heater had, had a really good workout for a couple of days. Yeah, we're actually in town filling up yeah, getting some, grabbing some, some diesel. diesel. That's, yeah. Yeah. And, um... I went, went into the the office to pay for the diesel and the I just commented to the lady, gee whiz, it's really cold today. She said, oh yeah, I reckon we're going to get some snow today. And I went, oh, really? But, you know, and we did notice that the clouds were looking a bit funky. I joked about it driving yeah. in. I said, oh, they look like snow clouds because they mm. were clouds I've never seen before and I'm, I'm obsessed with yeah. cloud formations. So even though we were imports to Queensland, <laughs> none of us really, none of us really had any uh, experience as to what snow clouds actually look like. No, we had no idea. Yeah. And this lady said, "Oh, apparently it's been snowing in Canberra today." Said, oh, really? And Canberra is obviously only an hour and a half away from Goulburn. And um, anyway, we sort of went home and we were sort of joking. It yeah, wouldn't it be really great if if it snowed today. I think in my gut I thought she was just yeah. having a funny with us you know we're just yeah. travelers from yeah. Queensland and we're Queensland winter because it's cold plates. and yeah. you know I think she I thought she was just having a joke with us but yeah. clearly she wasn't and we were like rubbed <laughs> up and it was, it we was were really cold, cold. Um, but anyway we we got back home and um, it was getting pretty cold so me and Riley sort of tucked our stuff up in bed and started reading a book and then um, looked out the window. Well, the rain stopped. Yeah, the rain stopped, yeah. And then, yeah, you asked me, you said, oh, has the rain stopped? And I said, oh, yeah. Oh my God, it's snowing. Yeah. It was just that moment of, oh my God, I think it's snowing. And yeah. Riley's jumped up and screamed and went, oh my God, what, oh my God, what, what? Because Riley's never seen snow. I've never, and nor of you, have ever seen snow falling. I've never seen snow fall. No. Um, and I have only spent, a very limited time. I think it was a school camp in year 11 where we went to the ski fields for two yep. hours. That's my only snow experience that I remember as a kid. Yeah. Um, I know when I was little, little, baby little, I've been in the snow, but I don't remember any of that. Yeah. So. And it snowed for about, I don't know, two hours, I reckon. Yeah, two or three hours, and it was heavy and the, yeah, well, snow. Like, it was really massive snowflakes. That's what a few people have told us. Apparently, that's what people are going, they can't believe how big the snowflakes were because that's not normal. Yeah. It's not normal to snow that time either. Yeah. You know, this time of year, it just... It was one of those moments that, you know, you will look back on and you'll remember. Like I, I, I will always remember that afternoon. I'll just, and yeah, and I'll remember Riley's excitement just running out, <laughs> bloody yeah. oblivious of how bloody cold it was, just running straight out into the snow without any jackets or <laughs> anything on. And I'm like, oh my God, get in here. But oh my God, look at the snow. Quick, get your jacket. Oh my God, look at the snow. It was like, I think because we wanted to experience it before it stopped. Yeah, because we, we weren't in such sure. a hurry to go outside. Because we didn't know if it was just going to be like a little tiny bit and then mm. one of us had missed it because we were inside trying to get jackets and beanies yeah. and boots. So we all just like went out there and yeah. I think once we realised it was going to be there for a while we yeah. thought we probably should put something warm on. But this is why I think we travelled, why we decided to travel because we wanted to have these experiences that we would never forget. Yeah. And that day or that afternoon would have to be up in the top two or three. For me it's like yeah. it's right up there. Yeah. yeah. It's been a dream to be standing in snow falling from the sky and having it just land on your face. Yeah. And it's just amazing. We never would have thought it would have happened in Goulburn in <laughs> well, just May. 10 minutes, it was just 10 minutes yeah. north yeah. of Goulburn. Yeah. Apparently it didn't even snow in Goulburn. No. So if we had been staying in town, we, would not, we wouldn't have experienced it. 
Yeah. Um, and had we left when we were going to, because we actually stayed an extra couple of days at this hip camp, uh, we would have missed it. Mm. So, yeah, someone was looking after us. We we're just meant it to be there really, and really experience special. it. Um, yeah, it was it was super special. We're talking about this for mm. for years and years because. Yeah. Some people thinking, oh my god, you guys are idiots, it's freezing, why would you be there, oh how could you mm. enjoy it? But when it's on your bucket list and it's just one of those things that you've dreamed of for so long and oh my god, it just happens, not even when you were expecting it, I mean when you're yeah. at the snow and you're in the snow fields, you sort of hope that it's going to snow, but sometimes it doesn't, you don't even experience it mm. in the snow. So Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, that day we'll remember yeah. forever. And then um, having that extra time, we spent, as Justine said, we spent a few more days at uh, at. Kerlewin? 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 Kerlewin, yeah, I think so. Kerlewin. We stood up, we can never um, remember The hip names. camp Kerlewin. Um, and it was great just, um, it was great just having those extra couple of days just to really get Ahsoka and um, Millie more acquainted to each other. I know it's been yeah. a few weeks, but I think having that really wide open spaces where the dogs could play and they yeah. really have become really, really awesome mates and I think Millie's really, really settling down into this life now, isn't she? She is. I mean, I know yeah. pe people have been asking, how's it going? Yeah. I think that's for another video. Yeah, it's, been, it has, it's it not has easy. had some challenges, for sure. You know, I've, I've had a few tears and what have we done and yeah. this is really hard. And she's a bit destructive, as you can see. This is why she just chews on everything. Mm. Um, but we love her. She's a beautiful dog. She's got a beautiful nature. She's just a puppy and it's just to be expected. Yeah, um, yeah so it is hard, but we'll probably do a, a more in-depth... <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're talking about. <laughs> we don't eat chairs. No. Thank you. We learnt that with Ahsoka. She ate a chair. Yes, she did, actually. <laughs> Maybe Ahsoka's teaching yeah, her, go and eat it. the chair. But, anyway. Um, we've got some great footage in there of the dogs and basically what we spent those next few days uh, in Goulburn. We went to the Goulburn War Memorial, which was really, really great. Yeah, I feel like we're back in the groove of yeah. travelling again. Yeah. Um, it's taken this little while to get here, get back into getting off-grid out of the caravan parks and, um, yeah, mm. just settling a bit, I think. Um, She's eating the stuffing in the toy. It's just... This is a daily event. <laughs> anyway. But look, I hope you liked the video. Um, we really enjoyed this week. This week is, as we said, it's probably one of the best weeks we've ever had. Yeah, we've laughed, we've yeah. enjoyed it, we've yeah. had a really good time and yeah. we've really started making memories again and it just, yeah. it sort of brought it all back to us again going, you know what, we are doing the right thing and oh no, she really has destroyed it. Bring your puppy into the mix, make sure yeah. you're prepared for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I think this, this one's gone to heaven, this one. What I did, I actually will pull all the stuffing out, that's what I do, and she can have the end without the stuffing and she can chew on it. But yeah, it's been really, really awesome, and yeah. um, part two of this week will be next week. Yeah. Um, which, well, which next really next week will be a new spot. Yeah, it'll so be really good. Yeah. It's the place where we just um, we've just been. It's been amazing yeah. and beautiful, serene. Um, Hundred percent. Wish we had longer at that place. Yeah. Um, and you'll see what we mean when you watch next yeah. week as well. Yeah. So, yeah. hope you enjoy this week. Yeah. And enjoy one of our big bucket list ticks as yeah. a family that we all got to experience for the first time ever. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I guess we'll see you in next week's video. All right. Well, take care, everyone. We'll see you next week. See ya. See ya.
Good morning, everybody. It's another day. We are in Goulburn still. Um, we think we might actually, we may even stay here till we have to go to Canberra because we're quite settled here and there's lots to sort of see and do. I didn't know that. And it's freezing. Tim's talking because I'm talking because he loves to talk over me. I didn't know that you were thinking of staying here. Anyway. Go to Canberra. Well, it's pretty cold. These guys have had a very big morning, as you can tell. They woke up early, they had snuggles in bed. They've been for a walk with Tim up around the paddocks. Um, they've come back, they had breakfast, went out, did another toilet, and then they've pretty much put themselves to bed. So I wish it was this easy every day all day because it's so nice to get things done while they're sleeping. So the boys are still in there doing schoolwork. They're now just doing like high school maths. I'm a bit over it because I don't really like maths. And Pop's just being just crazy, crazy, crazy. And I'm just over her. So I'm going for a walk again to wear her out a little bit. And hopefully she can go back to sleep and I can get a bit of a break. Yeah, it was a good idea to get her, but my God, she's exhausting. It's just like having a newborn baby again. I'm so tired. As we all know, I don't do mornings ever. And now I do. So 6, 6.30 is my now wake up call most mornings. Oh my God. And then this one always ends up wanting to go back to sleep at 6.30, or probably, no, about seven, quarter to seven, I think she comes back in and she wants to actually have sleep with us. Anyway, by then I'm wide awake. So she gets us to nap and I have to get up for the day. Anyway, we're just gonna go on this beautiful walk again on the property and at least we've got somewhere to go and stretch our legs and wear the doggies out a little bit. So I thought might bring you along with me. She tries to eat everything. Rocks, sticks, bark, leaves, and every kind of poo you could imagine. <sighs> so good. She is so wild. I take her off leash. She can just run around. She's pretty crazy because she's actually trained and well behaved. Meanwhile, the pup's just like nuts and all this fresh country air. Oh my gosh. She just goes absolutely crazy. That was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be walking up through all those paddocks because of the other day, all the rain we had and of course the amazing snow that we had the other night. The grounds in the paddocks are really, they're quite wet where we're walking at the moment. So I was a bit sloshy and uphill, <laughs> trying not to fall over, but um, the dogs are loving it. I think this one's almost had it now. Hey Millie, Millie. You don't need to clean yourself yet, we're not back. She didn't like all the water. She got mud and stuff all over her, so she's trying to clean herself. She thinks she's part cat. Anyway, now I've got to make the, the walk back down and across. I'm going to go back through the paddock the way we came, go the long way back instead of the shortcut, which is straight through the gates there is the shortcut and back down to behind the sheds where we're staying. But we're going to walk all the way back through here. Not through the actual long grass, we've walked down along the fence line where it's, um, we'll follow the cattle tracks just so I don't get the dogs through the long grass and stuff because even though they've got treatments and stuff for ticks, it's still very mindful of it all and um, just sort of stick to the low-lying grass as much as possible and yeah, as long as we follow the fence lines and they don't touch any electric fence fences, we um, 
I should make it back all right. So this morning I didn't go for a walk with Tim. I've been every morning, I've been actually really good. And I got up to get dressed, as I do every morning. For some reason I couldn't find my pants. So I actually ended up putting my trackies on, which is fine. My trackies are quite warm as well. And I got my thermals underneath it. But the mystery of my missing pants didn't come about until Tim arrived back from his walk. So he's standing at the doorway. I should have got this out earlier. He's standing at the doorway, he goes, ha, I think you put your pants on today. And I'm like, oh my God, you have my pants on. Tim's wearing my pants. The only way he can get into my pants at the moment, because it's too cold. So he thinks it's hilarious. That's not very nice. I, and like, then, I like getting into your pants, anyway, baby. <laughs> anyway, so I'm a bit upset because I'm like, you shouldn't have got in them because these are kind of like a stretchy material. So it's probably stretched a bit no, more now because Tim has been wearing them. Just go chuck them in the dryer. They're women wear, not men's wear. Men yeah, have different bodies. They fit. Anyway, so I'm undoing them. I think I should probably just put them on. And then I'm finding all these dirt marks on them. The jeans are like, really dirty i don't know quite where he's been or, or what he's oh, done muddy. there's like mud on probably the cuffs I, just, I don't know i don't really understand he, he, he actually on? probably checked and fell in calpool maybe he did no, why I are do you not doing your schoolwork i am anyway so what's the plan for today schoolwork um, and maybe we can go out this afternoon well we need to do schoolwork first <laughs> School work, school work. Check out what I did yesterday while well, these boys can keep doing this. So it was actually last night. Check this out. Help me! Because, I don't know, they should put the light on, maybe? Which is the light. Oh, look, Based I've worked it out. Check this out. So, so far, I thought I was getting too many herbs and stuff, and I got sick of going up to that cupboard. So I've actually swapped the cup drawer. Yeah, I'll show you, man. I can't explain it, but I'll show you. So we now have all our cups and plates up here which is really easy. And what I've done is, I've put all my herbs and spices and sauces, teas, coffee, everything down in this drawer. So, I'm actually pretty excited. I'm very proud of myself. I had an idea, I did it, and that's really awesome. We keep going to the wrong drawer for the cups, but we only did it last night. And I also cleaned out the swimmer drawer. So all the towels and the swimmers and all the beach stuff now are all in a bag, which is now in the front boot because we're not actually using them. I have no intention of swimming in this weather. Um, and I'm still in the process of cleaning out a few more drawers today, I think, because if we end up staying again for another couple of nights, um, just clearing out, making space so we can get our warm stuff rather than having hanging, because at the moment we've got stuff hanging here, so which is good. But so we have to have nothing on the two bunks because so in a, sort of what, in four days, five days, we're gonna have um, Andy here as well. So the boys are each gonna be on a bunk. So we've got no spare room. So discuss this question. So, so you'll have to bear with me, but I will definitely show you what I've done when I finished. Um, and hopefully I'll make some more room. I could get these dogs moving as well soon. Look at this. Millie's decided to take herself over to the window view. Hi, sweetie. Hi. All right, so Zoe at Flat Out Australia, uh, Flat Out Hoses Australia, sent us this Flat Out Sullage Hose to review. We wanted to give you uh, a no holes barred review on this product. We've been using it for probably the last few weeks. Good news is, is that when you get one of these hoses that comes with these one of these multi reels that they have, which, which you can buy online, um, and the hose is basically feeds into the actual reel like this. Okay. Now the hose is made out of this really heavy duty PVC plastic, and as you can see, it's super flat. But when it, when you get the sullage, or when you get the grey water running through it, obviously it gets thicker and it just gets pushed into the drain. Now the sullage hose comes in a 15 metre hose um, and it's divided up into a 9 metre and a 6 metre uh, hose. So um, depending on where you are, if you're not very far away from an actual uh, drainage site, you can use a 6 metre. A little bit further away, the 9 metre. Or if you're a long way away, you can put them both together and you get 15 metres, okay? So it's really, really versatile for that. And as it rolls in, it basically, all the water gets squeezed out. So the great advantage of that 
is that you don't get that um, the residual water in the hose um, which means that when you put it away to store you're not going to get that smell um, and the fact that it, it rolls really flat back into the actual um, multi-reel is that it's super super easy to to store this takes up very little room and if you have a couple of these multi reels they do stack together if you had one of these for your normal hose if you had one of these for your silage hose um, they just sort of stack on top of each other so the amount of space it takes up is very very small so the actual um, hose comes with all the connections that you need uh, for to actually connect onto your caravan what do we think of it well in terms of the amount of space it takes up in terms of hygiene this thing gets 10 out of 10 all right it's perfect and let's go to the back of the caravan with our van you can see that the way our gray water runs let me just grab that buddy is that the gray water comes down through here and basically down through here now there's this little switch here this this uh what that does is that will divert the water back into here then into the gray water tank okay now the thing is when the when the gray water runs through the silage hose the gray water tends to not run as quickly as what it will through one of these uh, sort of harder hoses that we have here and so what happens is that the gray water tends to bank up a little bit and it does run into the gray it does run into the gray water tank okay now for us that's not something that we actually want to do we, I don't want to have so the way the way that we could have done it is that we could have turned this switch make all the water run in the gray water tank and come through here and we wouldn't have any issues but I didn't want to have any gray water going into the tank if we didn't need to because what ends up happening is that the gray water ends up the gray water tank ends up getting that smell which you know I, we really didn't want but if you don't have a gray water tank or if yours is is set up differently to ours or if yours if your all your gray water goes into the gray water tank anyway um, it, it will probably work perfectly if you're looking for a, a silage hose and you're looking for one that will last you forever and this will because it's really heavy duty PVC it's gonna last you a long 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 time um, if you want one that isn't gonna smell is super hygienic super easy to stow really easy to attach go to flat out hoses australia i'm going to put the website underneath here you can order one um, have a chat with zoe i'm sure she'll be happy to let you know uh, the ins and outs of all of her products uh, and uh, yeah so the actual hose i reckon 10 out of 10 for us mm, six out of ten because i didn't want that going into that great water tank all right Peter Pettigrew could fit up there. Yes. Yeah.